my name's Laura. And this is Riverside News. Riverside Church, if you haven't seen already, we have a funky new info point on the top landing outside the auditorium. It's really cool. So you should check that out and check out all the, um, the cards and stuff we have up on the wall on the top landing there. Also, this Friday, we're starting our prayer and fasting for 10 days as a church. But Aaron has a little bit more to say that in the video coming up. <laughs> About 60 years ago, a man by the name of Onful Wallace lived in Devon. Great prayer warrior, had a heart to ask God to send rain from heaven to bring revival and to renew around the churches. He held three conferences in Dawlish, in Bellstone on the Moors and in Exmouth. And they gathered together with that sole purpose of God coming into the churches and breaking out by the power of the Holy Spirit. That birthed, we estimate, seven to eight movement that shot around the country, not just in the UK, but all over the world. Barney Coombs, Bryn Jones, Roger Forster, Terry Virgo, all of the movements that they became a part of, they shot out from the fires that were birthed right here in Devon. We're going to operate 10 days of prayer and fasting, starting on Friday the 6th of July, that you could come and join us in praying that God says rain from heaven once more, 60 years on from the moment that happened here in this wonderful county. So you could do one day of fasting, you could do two, you could do three, maybe five. You might even go, I'm going to fast and pray for seven days or even ten days. And we're leading up to a conference which we have called Rain from Heaven, which was one of Arthur Wallace's books, where Steve Apple, a revivalist, is going to come and infect us with a passion to call out on God for a breakthrough. Not just in this county, not just in this nation, but hopefully it will go all over the world. We want you to be a part of that. The conference starts on Friday the 13th of July in the evening. We're going to pray for an hour for the day that follows and on the Saturday at 10 we're going to come and meet with Steve Upple as we get into the presence of God right the way through the day to 3.30. It's about five pounds a book and then in the evening we're going to pray and worship God as we do that. But here's the challenge. 10 days, prayers and festivals. What can you do? What do you want to do to push into God to say, God, would you just send rain from heaven? This is our Game Changer Game Plan! So we thought it was a bit confusing at everything that's going on over the 10 days. So we've written it out to explain. So basically every single day at 7 a.m. and at 7 p.m. the church will be open to have prayer in the prayer room. On Saturday morning we will have our prayer breakfast as usual but there will also be 7 a.m. prayer. If you are not fasting or even if you are fasting we would still love you to come and join in with that one. Connect prayer will be on Tuesday the 10th um, and that will be kind of like instead of the 7 a.m. prayer we'll have worship the legs that that would, would usually happen on that day. To finish our 10 days of fasting, on Friday the 13th, we will be meeting here at Riverside in Exeter for 7 a.m. prayer, but then at 8 p.m. we'll be meeting at Holy Trinity Church in Exmouth for prayer with Steve Upple. And then continuing on into our Rain from Heaven conference at Holy Trinity Church in Exmouth at 10 a.m. We'd love to have you all there. There is childcare provided. And then we'll finish the celebration with celebration at Holy Trinity Church in Exmouth at 7.30. And then our fast will officially be ending on Sunday the 15th with a newcomer's lunch. So it'll be great to see you there. Our monthly over 50s lunch is happening on the 10th of July. It's a Tuesday at 12.30. If you have not been before and you'd like to come, um, please speak to Angela Rogers and she can give you lots more details about that. So last week, PJ and Beth did predictions for the England and Panama game. Beth, what do you think the score will be? 2-1 to England. England will win 5 mil. Come on, England! And there was a twist. Whoever lost was going to get pied to the face. That's what happens when you don't have confidence in England. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. As you can see, PJ guessed 5 nil, and the score was actually 6-1, um, so PJ got the closer prediction, even though Beth did get one of them right, PJ got the closer. So PJ uh, pied Beth, but he actually did get some on him as well, so we feel like it weighs up. But anyway, that's all for River Side News. Bye! You make me feel so good, it's out of my hands, I can't help but dance. Oh.